Hey, what's up you guys? It's Danny. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna tell you the story of how I lost my backpack in a German train. How did it happen? What did it have inside? Did I get it back at all? Okay, so what you need to know is the most important thing is that my whole entire life was inside that bag. Yes, what I mean with this is it had my passport, it had my residence permit for Germany, it had my laptop, my iPad, my wallet with money, credit cards, debit cards, everything in it. And I lost it. Yes. Yeah. So you might be wondering, okay, but what's the story? So I will start with the story time right away. <laughs> the thing is, I wanted to visit my friend Lari in Constance. If you're watching this, hola Lari. <laughs> so Constance is in the south of Germany, right? And I live in Frankfurt. That means to visit her, I would have to go all the way down with the train. And then from then, our plan was to go to Switzerland and maybe to Austria. So of course, in Europe, it's not a big deal to cross frontiers. But being a non-European, it's really important that you always carry your passport and your residence permit with you. And I didn't have them. <laughs> but I didn't know that. So let's continue. So in order to go from station to station, I needed to go to the main station of Frankfurt. For this matter, I took the S-Bahn, which is like the metro in Germany. So I took from my station the S-Bahn to the central station. In this S-Bahn, I was sitting alone. I had my huge backpack with everything in it. And I also have like a 25 kilogram big luggage with me with more things inside because we were planning to maybe go skiing. So I had like ski clothes and my helmet and it was pretty big. Usually when I travel, I always watch that I have everything with me and I count my stuff like one, two, three. And everywhere I go, I make sure I have the same one, two, three things. So I don't even understand how this could happen, but we continue with the story. In the S-Bahn, there was this drunk guy and it was a Saturday at 9 a.m. I don't know if this is a usual thing everywhere, but in Germany, there tend to be lots of crazy people walking around and they're kind of scary sometimes so i tried to stay away from them and not catch their attention so i was just looking at him like oh my god i hope he doesn't talk to me or does whatever because he was talking to another girl and kind of like annoying her she was really nice so she was having a decent conversation with him but it was kind of scary because he was kind of flirting with her so i was thinking maybe if he looks at me he's gonna come to me and this is making me really uncomfortable i really want to get out this metro light is now changing sorry about this um <laughs> now some horrible clouds are up in the sky i hope it doesn't get too dark but okay let's continue now i also gotta say i was running a little late when i came in i just remember i sat in this like um horizontal line where i couldn't like lay back because the backpack was there so i took off the backpack and i put it on the seat next to me and i put my big luggage to my left so as i was watching this guy being just really uncomfortable and just wanting to get out just two more stations to go just some minutes to take so the first thing i did when the train stopped in the main central station i grabbed my stuff and i just ran outside so i ran away and then i just saw like oh my god he stayed there he didn't come behind me it's all fine Whew, and i relaxed so i was like okay now going up the stairs going to the main area where the trains go out and i need to find my train to the south so i went to where the trains go out and i found my train so i got in and i was like whoo Barely made it just in time. This is awesome. And I remember I was really happy because I was gonna see my friend and it was gonna be such a nice adventure and I made it punctually to the train and everything was amazing. So then the train started going and I was like looking out the window. I found a really perfect place to chill the whole time. It was gonna be like four hours drive. I don't remember, but you know, I was just looking out the window, how pretty everything is. And I'm like, you know, I need to listen to some music. So then I was like, where are my headphones? Oh, let me take them out of the backpack. Backpack wasn't there. I looked to my left. I looked behind me. I looked all around. I was like, the backpack. I was panicking. I was like, no, 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 no. Everything's in there. And then I started realizing the laptop, the iPad, my passport, my residence permit, my wallet, everything! I remember even when I came into the train, I was feeling surprisingly light and relieved and with no problems. And then I realized it was because I didn't have the heaviness of the backpack. 
And the thing is, I was already almost arriving to Mannheim, which is pretty far away already when I noticed. Who do I call that is in Frankfurt that can help me find it straight away, call the people from like the metro system of Frankfurt to call there and at least ask if, if someone maybe had found a bag with this characteristics and left it in the lost and found. But let's be honest, how often does someone give something like that back? I mean, if it would be me or maybe you or whoever has a good mindset and is a good person would give it back but let's be honest not everyone in this world is a good person not everyone in this world doesn't need whatever is inside or the money you get if you sell it the backpack itself was pretty expensive as well the value of that backpack was at least i can imagine like 2000 euro which i thought of course no one's gonna give it back but at the same time i was like hey i'm in germany people here tend to be really honest so maybe just maybe someone gave it back or maybe just maybe Everyone just left it there because you never know what's inside anyone's bag so you just don't mess with that and it made it to the end station and then it was taken by security or whatever. I was hoping for the best scenario. Cause yeah, I knew in that moment, okay, I left it inside the metro because this guy was stressing me and I just grabbed my stuff and went and I didn't grab the backpack. So I tried to relax, I tried to not get an inner crisis and I called my boyfriend. So if you guys don't know, I live with my boyfriend, so he was in Frankfurt at that time. I call him up and I'm like, oh, this is everything that happened in my backpack and I don't know what to do. He was like, what? Let me call right now. So he hung up and he called the metro. I was just panicking and trying to know what to do and, and how to get off that train that was just going farther than Frankfurt. I needed to go back. I needed to get off this train and find my way back, which of course would cost me more money to buy another ticket on the way back, miss my train and my connections for the further journey. So everything was just gonna be from then. Thank God there was a really nice girl behind me, a German girl who understood everything I said and she was like, oh my God, Like, what happened? Let me help you. I can stay with your stuff for now and just go look for the security guy of this train so that he gives you a solution to your problem. He maybe has a way to contact these people in a faster way or get you back. So I looked all around the train, left my stuff with her and I was just panicking trying to find this security guy from the train. I found him, so like the people that control the tickets and I told him this happened and this happened in my backpack and I, it has everything, my life in it, I cannot keep going with this train without that. So he was like, okay, okay, relax, um, you know what, I, I'm gonna try to, to call them and see what's up. I waited for a while but he couldn't contact them so then in the end he was like, okay, you're gonna hop off in the next station, it's Mannheim and then you have to find your way back and I'm like, yes, but that's gonna cost me money because I don't have another ticket to go back and I'm gonna miss this tickets also when i found the security guy and i was explaining my situation other girls overheard it as well and they told him there has to be a way that you can help her she needs a ticket to go back so it was basically because of them that this guy was like okay i'm gonna make you a ticket so thanks to those girls as well they were also german so this was like german girl power helping me Thank you so much. The guy in the train came, calm me down, and he started talking with me and saying, yeah, this happens often. Some people don't find it. Some people do find it, but I hope you find it. I was like, thank you. I hope so too. At least it looks promising. He was like, let me give you a ticket at least to go back from Mannheim to Frankfurt. You don't have to pay for this. I do it for you. That was so nice. Thank you, controlling guy. I love you. So he gave me this ticket to go back from Mannheim to Frankfurt and I hopped off. I waited for the next train to Frankfurt. It was like half an hour and then I took it and I had this thing with me and they were checking. So then I was like, I, this is what I have. It was just like a handwritten thing. The lady was like, what is this? And I was like, so this happened and this guy gave it to me and then she was like it's okay you have a ticket relax bye in this train i call my friend larry and i tell her i'm a stupid person who left her backpack in the train and now i need to go back and she was like what i cannot even imagine my other mexican friends last week also left their backpack inside the flex bus but they found it so maybe you are lucky and i was like well i'm not sure but at least i'm gonna try because you know if i keep going in your direction the only thing i'm gonna be missing is everything because for the trip i need my passport to cross into switzerland austria and all the cool plans we were planning to make so she was like of course you need to get back and get that back and if you don't come today maybe come tomorrow or another day or just don't stress so i was like okay i'm just gonna wait and hope that maybe my boyfriend has an answer 
my boyfriend calls it that moment. He was like, hey, you are one lucky girl. I was like, what, did they find it? He was like, yes, I called and I described the backpack and they said they had one just now that arrived with those same characteristics. And I was like, ah! <laughs> but then he said, okay, but I'm not allowed to take it. You are the owner and you need to go get it and you need to describe what's inside in a better way than I could. But they say at least they have something. And I'm like, I really hope it is my bag and not just another similar bag. But honestly, I, I I gave him the specifications to which train I was, at what time, and they had the same specifications for this bag that was delivered from that same train at that same time. So it had to be my bag. I hung up with him and I restored my hope a little bit and I could chill for at least the rest of the journey. So I was at least thankful that I made it back and then I was in Frankfurt. What I was also thinking is, okay, let's assume I go back and whether I find it or I don't, I still have to go back to my friend because I really wanted to make that vacation happen. But that would mean I would have to get a whole new ticket. And honestly, that was not the perfect moment to think about this. I was just hoping someone in the train office would understand my situation and offer me another ticket for free or maybe change the timing of mine or whatever solution so that I don't have to pay double or triple because it was very last minute. But that was the second worry. First thing was to find my backpack so then I got back to Frankfurt and I ran for my life to get that backpack into the lost and found I got there barely breathing and I was like I'm looking for this backpack I'm sure you know what I'm talking about they were like yes we know what you're talking about and the guy went back he came back ah, with the backpack and he was like but first do you have an ID? I was like, sadly not because it's inside the backpack. He was like, correct. What else is in there? And then I started describing everything that was in there. I was like, basically my life, mister, my life. That's also correct. What's your name? I said, Daniela Trujillo. He was like, here you go. And I grabbed it. I grabbed it for my life. <laughs> Usually I'm not a believer, but in this moment I was like, God was with me. I, I truly believe this. There was someone, something looking after me. Because losing this backpack would have meant losing basically everything I have. I looked inside and it had everything, everything in it. I could not believe it. I just could not believe it. This would never happen in Mexico. Never, ever. I would never get it back. And I'm pretty sure not only in Mexico, in many places of this planet, even in Germany itself, it was a miracle to find it again and that it had everything inside. Not even a cent was taken from that bag. To me, this is just so impossible to believe. If someone else was telling me this story, I would never believe it. But I'm glad I can say I found it and I didn't have to figure out whatever was inside again because I wouldn't have even known where to start to get everything back. And the heaviest thing is I would have been an illegal person in Germany, basically. <laughs> in Mexico, they keep your stuff and they just say, oh, it changed owner. Pathetic and sad, if you ask me, but okay. But honestly, long live Germany. <laughs> And then I needed to fix the second problem, which was finding my way back and seeing what's up with the ticket. So I went to the info desk and where they sell all the tickets. I explained the guy what happened and I told him basically I was on my way there and then I had to come back because my life was left behind and then I gotta go back again to my road and my plan and whatever. He was like, oh sure, actually you're in luck today because there's a series of storms going on in whole Germany, so many trains are being delayed and we are not checking for today. And it's true, at that time there were some storms going on in Germany. So these storms also saved my life. The good between the bad. Because since everything is being delayed, they didn't care about the tickets anymore and no one was gonna check them. So I could just go back without a problem. See why I believe God was with me? My boyfriend came right after that and he also was like, did you find it? And I was like, yes, I found it. So this is the backpack. As you see, the backpack itself is from this brand. So the backpack itself was already something to win for whoever found it. Even if it would have had nothing inside. I learned a really valuable lesson. First things first, I used to think I used to be good at watching my stuff, but I need to be better at it. Second, I won't let myself stress because of other people. I still need to be concentrated and focused in my things, my moment. Last but not least, I learned that there's still good people in this world. The girls that helped me, the security guys that helped me, and the person who gave it back, whoever it was, thank you. Just, just 
Thank you, thank you. From what the guys in the Lost and Found told me, apparently the security guy from the train in the end um, found it. So it, the train got to its final destination and then the people who check if anything's inside saw the backpack and took it to the Lost and Found. So it wasn't like a civilian person, it was just the security guy in the end being like, okay, this was left, but still, he could have kept it. So my boyfriend stayed with me while we waited for the next train in the same direction as the beginning. And then I hopped in with all my stuff, counted a million times so that I don't forget anything and then the trip started over again and I was on my way back to Constance so this time I did put my headphones on and started to look out the window again and relaxing thanking God and thanking good people for this experience that ended up happily I regained faith in humanity and got to feel super lucky to be here and to get to live this life where I'm safe and my belongings are safe in a general basis of course you cannot assume everything will be fine always so still be careful but you know as I said in Mexico this would have never happened I'm glad to be lucky enough that this happened here and not there I really really know I'm super fortunate and I'm super thankful about it but anyway that's the end of the story have you had a similar story please tell me in the comments so yeah guys that's it for this video I hope you like this storytelling and the way I tell it because to me my emotions come back fully on fire again <laughs> and I think what's important about stories is the feeling behind them don't forget to like subscribe and follow me on Instagram so that we are closer in touch and I guess I'll see you in the next video until then bye